Well, I, at the time, I had never 69 would That's like going to your first restaurant and be like, I'll do veal. And like, who the fuck orders veal for the first oh, time ever? Oh, 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 all right. Like 69 yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Eventually, hell yeah. The last time um, I did this, I got a lot of um, comments saying that I was too aggressive. I was mean to Michael. I was, um, don't have him back on again. And so I'm going to, you know, honestly... I want to do it differently this, this time. And you're here to be mean again. No, I, no, no, no. I want to. <laughs> well, there's different sides of me, and I, I want to do the soft side oh, and the spiritual side. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to try. I'm not going to be meat bullyish. What could Michael say that would piss you off? Nothing. Just so he there's stays away from it. There's nothing. And I want to say that I wish recording. Yeah, yeah. yeah I would yeah. like to say this. Um, I did not know you the first time I did it. Yeah, yeah. Um, your the idea of you confused me. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What, in what yeah, sense? Please, what was just confusing? the whole idea, idea of Michael Blaston. 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 We can go with that. Blaustein. Blaustein. Yeah, yeah. It it um, boggled my mind. How how so? I didn't like it, and I'm I'm, I'm being oh, completely no 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 no. no, 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 no I, 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 we were there. I, no, no. I, listen, I'm 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 all, I'm really being authentic. Yeah, yeah. And mindful right now, and I want to be honest with you. Did not like it that much so well just 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 to get it just to get in what what part of it didn't you like just the whole thing i mean i, the whole like, I don't want to come here and, and be like all mean and stuff so it's like um i'm just being completely honest with you let's start with the face yeah <laughs> just, <laughs> i'm sorry it, i'm sorry what the face bothered me. You know Thank God funny? I'm not taking you, straight. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. you know it's funny, Bobby. T- two minutes ago, just, you're like, I'm gonna call him here. I just, I'm spiritual side. Blah, that, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm doing. You are because I'm, I'm telling, I'm being you honest. What I've done since the last time I was here. Okay. I was just being honest in in terms of when I first met you. Right. I didn't know who you were. First impressions right. are everything. Yeah. Exactly. Sure. And I didn't like it. Yeah. But that being said, you since still don't. No, I love them now. Good. Now, since then, um, I've done some homework. Um, I, I've, I've watched clips of you online. And I have to say this. Number one, you're a credible comic. You're a beast. Oh, dude, thank you. You're dynamic on stage. And I'm used to the face. <laughs> I, used to, I, I don't think you're used to my face yet. No, your face? <laughs> I can't even believe women like you. <laughs> I really can't. It's, it, I honestly. Same, dude. I think and front then, on, I'm good. Well, no, no, no. It's that side <laughs> angle. There's this one girl that I've been ha- trying to have sex with for years. I'm going to say what it is, but. Say it. No, I'm not. And you you hooked up with her. Can I just say that or no? Sure. Yeah, I, I love the girlfriend Please. you have now. Yeah. You hooked up with her um, a, a while back. That's and funny. she would never hook up with me. My point is, is that that boggles my mind. Oh, I know who it is. Yeah, yeah. I don't, no, you don't. Okay. Okay. Because I look at your face and it's like, whoop. You know what I mean? <laughs> Aerodynamic? Yeah, it's just like, well, you know, you know, uh, uh, go ahead. This is not going to come off great, but I think if your face and my face met, it would make one proportional face. Why not say that? That's true. <laughs> I don't know. That's we're, just now like we're getting I, to the bottom of it. I am too, aer- I'm like a Nerf football. And this then, is and, a lot. And what's he? What about it? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Tell me what, what's my face just, look like. It, it looks like <laughs> bliss. No, be honest. What does my face look it like? It is a little. It's not a sharp. How are we already here? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, not yeah. a sharp. It's not sharp at all. My face is, you know, yeah. looks like a hammerhead sharp. It's like a blurred painting vertically. Or my face. A blurred painting? Like they just didn't really put the angle. Like etch a sketch. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, you could draw you in an etch a sketch pretty look, easy. Look, look, look at this, right? I couldn't be a president. Do you know why? Why? On the coin, it would just be a flat line. <laughs> <laughs> See? See? So, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You said it, not me. All right. So, let's go back to Michael. Yes. Well, I'll, get, I'll get to Sorry, you. Sorry, I have a big ego. I have to talk about myself yeah. every four minutes. I'll set a timer. Um, but then, I've, you know, I've, been, I've done some research. And then me and Andrew have talked about you. Yeah. And we talked about how funny you are. And, um, you know, I love you, man. I love you too, man. I'm glad that we got here because I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like a couple things here, right? Th- when someone doesn't like me initially, I get it. I get it. Why? Because I feel like sometimes I have this thing where I act as if the person in front of me, even if we just met, that we've known each other for forever. And I think sometimes people like like that and sometimes people don't. People are like, who the fuck are you? Why are you talking like this? Mm. Type of thing. So I totally get it. It's not, you're not the, definitely not the first person that <clears throat> had some sort of like animosity the first time we met. So it's not like new to me. But I will say, 
when we're at this moment with us in our relationship, I'm very happy because I respect the fuck out of you. I think you're like crazy funny and dynamic. And when I see you on stage, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's awesome. Uh, Whoa. What? So can we talk about me now or what? No, no, we're not talking there. Okay, cool. I, I realized what it was. Give it to me. Yes. You have fraternity vibes. And I yep. don't. <laughs> you both do. You both do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, like, you guys are frat boy comics in the beginning. When I yeah. first in the beginning. Met you guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, white dudes. Yeah. Am I not right? Am, am I crossing a line here? No, no, no. No. Right? I, I'm making an assumption that you're 78%. white. 78%. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Prints or paper white? Excuse me? You heard me. I know I did. <laughs> Let's go back to you. Oh, you know who you look like, too? Who? Epstein. No. <laughs> I kind what's of, that? What's that little girl that was like? What? Uh, oh, whoa! What, what, just listen. Okay. Right, 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 right. <laughs> the Munchausen syndrome girl. Oh, Rose. Uh, Gypsy yeah. Rose. Gypsy Rose. <laughs> Michael would like Gypsy, Gypsy Rose? Rose for sure. Yeah, you have Gypsy Rose, like a male version. <laughs> Can we All get right. a side by side yeah. on yeah, that? Yeah, we have to get a side. Mean, but I you, hope you're you right. Really, no. Let's see. I think she can sell tickets. If we're being honest, I think she can do the Bray improv pretty quick. Look at the face. Honestly. Yeah. That's when she was fatter, though. <laughs> that's, I mean, I shouldn't say that. I'm when she was. No, she's on Ozempic. Ozempic, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's just move on. That's <laughs> no, just to let's me. do the side by side. Hit it and then go go left. Yeah, yeah. Hit no, the left, hit I, the left I, I, by hit. looking at the photos. Yep. Well, they. Oh. It's here. Yeah. You're very gypsy rosy here. A gypsy rosy. Wh wh where are in you this pointing? part of the face? In the brows. Yeah. Like oh, in the the brows eyes. If you look at the angle where her her sort of brow turns into the kind of. Hits her nose. It's similar there. Okay, so God, just, God bless you and take care. I, I'm okay. honestly, dude, you're right. So who do just, I look like? So just the middle what? section. Who do I look like? Did the timer go off? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I was actually. A I mean, thank you. I thought that was yeah. way funnier than you guys gave credit for. I think if you took the feathers off of an eagle's face, a featherless eagle, or just the feathers just the, off the, an just eagle? the face. If you take the feathers out, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you get more of the the, the skeleton. An eagle that used some manscapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manscaped the yeah. Yeah, I let's, yeah, let's I go to you. Though, let's go to you. Let's go to yeah, you. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, thank you. That's that's very uh, very kind of you. I want to give you some compliments, please, if I may. All the cameras on me. Okay. So, all right. Well, <laughs> number one, um, at the MGM Grand, yeah, I was so proud show. of you. Really? Yeah. I was so fucking nervous. Did you talk about this? We yet? talked about it on here, but Already? yeah, when uh, on the Burton Tom show, it was me. Bringing up you, then you brought up Shane. Mm -hmm. Stacked ass fucking lineup. Stacked Stack. lineup. <laughs> what I liked about it was you and I in the green room were pacing. Yeah, like I had. We were. Ner you were nervous. So nervous. Nervous. Every four seconds, a bigger and bigger celebrity walks in, and I don't want to be going over my set, mumbling it in front of Shane Gillis. I don't want to be. <laughs> yeah, it so, really was. Uh, it really ooh. was um, um, the place to be. Maybe in that moment in comedy. Yeah, definitely. It was like. Because then uh, Soder came in with the Stefano. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like, Guy Fury shows up. Yeah. And then all these people just kind of walked in. Paulie shows up for some reason. <laughs> just out of nowhere. And then Everybody's in there. NFL every, players. NFL players. Hot chicks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Jelly Roll. Yeah. Fighters. Like, Nate Diaz Nate is there. Nate Diaz is there. And all of this is before you guys get on stage? Yeah. yeah. And we're pacing. Oh, my God. And in my head, I'm like, I'm going to find a corner of a room to go over my set. I knew the set I was going to do, but still, like, I just have to talk it out sometimes. And then when you actually walk out. I, wa I walked the wrong dude, fucking way. I know. But when you <laughs> walk out and you have that opening and you're walking through the crowd, oh, really, pretty much, right? There's just people, like, stacked yeah. above you. It's crazy. It's crazy. But then you have to, um, you just have to go. It's go time. Yeah. You, like, lock in. There's no, there's no room for no. failure. No, no, no. Because if you bomb that. You kill yourself. Yeah, yeah, you have to. You have to find a. Yeah, you have you to find you kill, a, you you kill the Luxor and then you just yeah, yeah. tape all your hands and, together and you go. I think I would have killed him. If I bombed that, it would have been over. You wouldn't see me here now. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I would be. I would be like. I, probably, I don't know what it would, I would. I, I would probably go back to Phoenix and hang out with my mom for like a couple months. Oh, dude. Yeah, I feel yeah, that's yeah. like Dan Marino and uh, Jim Carrey. What is it? Ace Ventura when he missed a field goal. Yeah. And, and yeah. But then when you so when you were on stage, because you had to go a cold. Cold. That Nobody is cold, show, cold, cold. Dude, because we talked about it. We're like, oh, there's going to be someone before you. Like, someone's got to someone's gotta, yeah, like, host this thing. Yeah. yeah. Cold is crazy. Cold. But here's what, it, to his benefit. Yeah. When they said his name, if you didn't get a pop. I would have been nervous. It would have been bad. Yeah. Show right? walls. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nothing. Just one, one, like, let's, let's clap at one time, right? Audio. Trevor Wallace. <laughs> 
You got to clap. <laughs> Trevor Wallace. That almost oh would have been cooler. <laughs> that, that is cooler. Like culty. All right, how about this? Yeah, you yeah. go boom, boom, boom. Yep, yep. So three claps, right? Yep. Trevor Waller. <laughs> that's worse. That's it way worse. Like dude, 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 that's dude. way worse. That's, that's way worse. But yeah, dude, oh. like, pop, pop, pop. Luckily, yeah, there was yeah. a pop when they called my name, which could have been either way because I wasn't on the lineup. So the crowd owes me nothing. Yeah. But that was great. And then I brought you up, even bigger pop. But and then. All right, so when you brought me up, I tried almost tackled you. Yeah, I didn't know if that was a bit or if that was just fun. I just was, I don't know what I was doing. I really <laughs> I don't know what do I was doing. Do you ever know what you're doing on stage? And I mean that in the best way possible. But you'll like, do you ever know what you're doing on no. stage? Because you'll like kiss a man's head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it so, gets a crazy laugh. Yeah, so you and I, I tried to tackle you, but then not. I think I went, I'm going to tackle him. And then midway, I'm like, I don't think I should. I thought you tripped. Yeah. Anyway, and I don't remember what I did, but then, um, but then Shane's pop was bigger than my pop. It was unreal. He got a standing ovation off the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was insane. Huh? Yeah. Off, like, he was I on said the lineup, his so. name, and uh, I mean, because you're in a theater of a round, so it's like, like I got, like, cheers if from every direction. He could have shot somebody, and they would have been like, yes! It felt like yeah. Roman Empire time. It like, was a cosmic wow. experience. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, <sighs> right, in my body. Yeah, dude. And I was like, I, my pop wasn't as big as this pop. You know what I mean? It was like, I think with that. Being insecure. <laughs> yeah, I was no, insecure about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you know, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, and then, um, and then the whole night was pretty fun after that. It was great. Yeah, it was great. It was super anyway, fun. let's not talk about ourselves. Well, I, I want to ask you this, though, Bobby. When you do that type of set, do you have, like, a set list? Or you just kind of, like, Dude, I have like, one kinda... set. I'll s I add different things in that, but yeah. I have a structure right now of my set. So I... I so that in situations like that, uh -huh. I just kind of instinctually know it's going to work. You're just going to go whenever. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's almost flawless. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no, there's nothing in there. Now, it, now, you know, creatively, I'm not there because it's like, I'm so Soviet with my set. Yeah. It's very like, you know, you know, like Japan, you know? Yep. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> do that. You, you guys can't do that. Nope. Yeah, I mean, it. maybe but when the cameras are off. You, no, you can go. No, you could do that. That's not. A, that's not a being racist. Do it. You first. Nose goes. <laughs> <laughs> How do you okay. say it? Yeah, do it. I'll do it. I'm just. Do it. Do it. Yeah, that yeah. was great. Great. Right. He I did, did it. it. He, yeah, yeah. He, Clip I, it. I made it. I was gonna go. Hudio, hudio. No, go. Uh, you want me to get all fucking? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're not gonna get cancer for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've been waiting to do it. Whoa, that was fucking kamikaze. <laughs> Dude, I was at Hibachi the other night and I did it there and I got kicked out. So now All right, right. it's good to do it here and not get kicked out. Yeah. But um anyway, that night also I met um what so Vince Vaughn was there. Did you see Vince? I saw Vince Vaughn. Yeah. Was like, I, everybody I, was in there. I hugged him quickly and I left. He's tall. Yeah. T stallion. Yeah. Probably got a fucking not, slong on him. Yeah, he but, has to. God damn. Blau Comedy's on tour, March 8th. Okay, that is this Friday. New York freaking city. Little tickets left. Go get them before they're gone. March 9th, I'll be in Atlanta. First show sold out. I love you. Second show, very limited tickets. March 10th, Charleston, South Carolina. Very excited about the venue. Trevor loved this boop, venue. Boop. Now I'm going to love it, okay? Very low tickets Hot there. I think women, the, doesn't matter. You're in love. That's what I'm saying, dude. About 40 tickets left there. Go get them. March 15th to the 16th, Cleveland, I love you. All sold out. March 29th. Portland, first show sold out, second show, a little bit of tickets left. March 30th, Seattle, same thing. March 31st, Vancouver, I love you all sold out. April 12th, I'll be in Niagara Falls, Ontario, okay, with really funny stand-up comics. We're doing a three-headliner tour with Jessica Kirsten, Hannah Burner, and myself. April 13th, the same three people are going to be at... Uncastleville, Connecticut. Uncastleville. Uncastleville. Dude, I can't speak English. Bro, you, they can't either, but you need to learn that. <laughs> and then April 14th, I'll be in Albany. Uh, first show sold out. We added another one, so go get tickets. And many, many more dates on my website is blogcomedy.com. That is blogcomedy.com. Trevor Wall is doing stand-up live. Go. March 28th, new day added. Irvine. Irvine, you guys have a Blackberry building out there. A little weird, but one of my favorite clubs. So fun. Ontario. You just did 48 shows there. I did. Ontario, California. So These fun. are all new material nights. April 4th, Bray, California. April 11th, Long Beach. April 25th, San Francisco. Yeah, because yeah, you guys always like, when's your next LA date? First of all, LA tonight, sold out. But all of these, I'm like, dude, these are for you guys. SoCal, pull up and pull out. Then the tour starts. San Francisco in May, Salt Lake City in May. 
Miami, Florida, Love it. BBL season in June, Sacramento so in June, Portland, Oregon in July, <laughs> July, <laughs> Lexington, Kentucky in August, Nashville, Tennessee, Tampa, and Tempe on my website, TrevorWallsComedy.com. A lot of shows coming up. I'm loving this new material, and fuck you, Robert. <laughs> It'll make sense in the next episode. God damn. Today's podcast is brought to you by Liquid IV. You know what? We're always traveling. We lack hydration, not anymore, because we drink liquid IV. Look at this stupid-ass water bottle next to me doing nothing. But if I put a liquid IV in it, this bitch would be damn near full of, of electrolytes. Dude, every single tour date now, I bring a whole bag of liquid IV. The freaking everyone on the team loves it. Everyone stays super hydrated. And I will say, people undervalue. If you're hydrated, you definitely have more energy. If I don't yeah. have my hydration in the morning, I'm like pissed. I no like headaches. drag. Yeah. No, oh, dude, headaches. I get headaches all the time because I'm stupid. And I don't have, I don't have enough hydration. So these really, really help. And just with one stick of this, dude, it's three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink, plus eight vitamins and nutrients with everyday wellness, all in one single sugar-free stick. That's right, dude. They have sugar-free now, which is awesome. Which is great because sometimes you just get tired of drinking water all day. It's a fun yeah. way to spice it up and stay hydrated. Great for working out. Uh, they also have ones that are, uh, you know, if you're if you're feeling sick, they have more vitamin C in it. However you hydrate, grab your liquid IV, hydration multiplier, sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco, or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com. Use promo code SOCKS at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop better hydration today using promo code SOCKS at liquidiv.com. Go get hydrated. Go get some happiness, dude. God damn. I'm a virgin. You are a virgin. No. When did you lose your virginity? Oh, this is what a great, wow, deep cut. Oh, because you grew up in San Diego, right? Yeah, I think uh, what I have to say is I think the first time I would have to say I lost my virginity was when I was twenty three. Was there a time before that just didn't count? It doesn't count. Yeah, How, why does it? Not, why does it not count? Because one of them, I was in high school, and it was like I don't want to make fun of the lady, but it was like it was a couple of dudes doing it with the same girl. Okay. You lost your virginity in a gangbang. It wasn't a gangbang. It was like. There was a couple of girls in there, but it was like, we were all drunk. I think oh, I stuck it in real quick. Pin the tail. I came real the, quick, yeah. and that was it. You know uh -huh. what I mean? But um, Sounds like a fun night. It does. Come real quick, ride home on your Sector 9. Yeah, and I couldn't believe it, but I, it wouldn't count that as it. But at 23, I met a girl named Jennifer Field. Dude, I was in, Jennifer love, I was in love, love with a Jennifer in high school. Yeah, Jennifers are the best. Blonde, she yeah. had like fucking... Rackolas? It, just jello cup tits. Yeah, Good. my girl had big tits too. God. But I remember what she's up to these days. Yeah, me too. Call her. I think. I'm trying to, Do you I'm trying to I don't even have their last numbers. Name. No. I you know, it's so funny about I was talking about I was thinking about last night. Cause you guys are young, right? I'm fifty two. And it's like, you know, there's segments in your life where you hang out with somebody a lot for like a year and then you never see them again. No. <laughs> Mike, I'm trying to be nice. I know, I know, you know I know. I, mean? yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I love you so and much. Let me ask you something, Mike. Oh, uh, no, Michael, this is right? not going to be a nice question. No, it's, it's going to be, no, it's going to be very good. Okay. You know, are you trying to showcase all your teeth? No. Close your mouth. I can't. My mouth, <laughs> I mean, my is mouth is a, too big. <laughs> my mouth is too are big. Are we at a dental convention? Like, just no, close dude, your mouth. I have a we don't tiny head and a big the mouth. The structure of one's. I can't. It just, all right, it's so it's big. So many teeth. So Too many, I think. Yeah. Like, yours is perfect. Perfect teeth. The ones that you're supposed to show. Do you show a lot of teeth? When I smile, I think I do. Right now, okay, Who's just open your mouth a little bit. I see the bottom and the, I don't see your bottoms. Let's, listen, tit for tat, let's let's Okay. Let's be randomly like just thinking, like, damn, whatever happened to yeah. a certain name? But what, I, did this, you drift, <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, you, 20 years go by, and you have no contact, you, you know, and I tried to Google her last night about her social media. I couldn't find any social media. Yeah. So it's just an interesting, you know, it's interesting, you know. And you share, like, intimate experiences and, like, you, like, reveal, like, secrets to people and then all of a sudden yeah. it's just gone. It's just interesting in life. So um, I hope I'm not like that with you guys. Drift apart? Yeah. I hope not. I hope not either. I hope to be in your life. Yeah, but, I mean, how would that happen? I think Because I, I don't run into you as often as mm -hmm. I am. I run into you a lot. Yeah. Like, at least three times a week. And that's a good thing. I love it. <sighs> Thank you. I mean, I mean, we don't, we're never, like, we're very, like, eh! You know what I mean? We're I never know. like, uh, you know? I think it'd be like if one of us would just, or any of us, really just got like a, I don't even know what this would be, like a massive, massive movie role. And then you're just 
on press tours and touring the world. That's other than that, you're just you see each other at the clubs. It's oh, by the way, Trevor is now an, uh, an actor. Yeah, actor. Yes. We, we, saw, we, we need to we, see it. We, we were at the uh, movie. drugstore June premiere. You're in it. You're was, great. You, was it your first movie premiere? First movie, first legit movie premiere. I That's was in something incredible. like six years ago. What was it? Uh, it was the old company I worked for, Old Def Digital. I forget what it's called. Something. It was a real movie. I don't. It went somewhere. Uh-huh. It was a movie length. It was a movie length YouTube it's, video. It, it, it's, it's, it's a two-hour YouTube video. Yes, but it's on YouTube somewhere. It's, but in it did well. I had two lines in it. I was very nervous. Um, okay. I could show you Who the was exact. Was it? It's uh, a great question. Was Bill Burr in it? He was not in well, it. He's in the movie that you're in now. Bill Burr, Bobby Lee, <clears throat> Haley Joel Osment, Miranda Cosgrove. Did you just talk to him? No, I, I was nervous. I didn't Why? Know, I mean, he he's like, what do I know? He's so massive, but I'm like, I know you. So you don't know. Six Sense? You ever see Six Sense? I, dude, I don't watch TV. I don't watch. It's, it's not a, TV, a movie. It's a movie. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 wait, 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 to be or not to be? <laughs> no. No. Right, what what the on. fuck's the quote? What is the quote? I Do you know the people? quote? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I see dead people. That's yeah, from that? Yeah. He said it? Yeah. yeah. That's yes. him. That's him as like a kid. He said kid. it. Like a kid. And then do you ever see AI? Steven Spielberg's the AI. I, that was an underrated movie. No. I love them. He's in it? He's the lead. He's AI. Alan Iverson? All right. So not Alan Iverson, dude. Wait, pull up the six sentence and what he looks like. He's such a famous actor. He's dude, so. He, he's he, a child prodigy. Oh, I know him. That's him. Yes, yes. that's him. Is a that's a Haley Joel Osment. Dude, Dude, how long he's have I been a alive? Trust Willis. When you saw that movie as a kid, when I, I was probably in my thirties, probably when I saw it, and when I saw it, I was like, "Oh, that kid is a prodigy. That kid is the gr greatest actor I've seen." Dude, yeah, he was in Sixth Sense. He's like a, his emotional ability at at whatever six or seven is nuts. Really? Nuts, dude. Nuts, dude. Michael, I like you more right now. Am I winning? Yeah, yeah, you're winning because my point is that this fucking idiot, <laughs> the fucking moron. I don't. You, can I just say something come on, about you, come please? On. You don't. Yeah, let's do hey, this. Come on, yeah, you don't care about, for the coffee. You don't care it. about culture. I do, but if I'm a part of it. Yeah, it's all self-serving. Yes. Yeah, but you. It is lonely inside, Bobby. Or let me. I'm going to ask you some. Oh, this is great because Good. I when yeah, I date girls like either. you. When I date girls what? like you, it's hot, a, big goes, titty gingers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no. shit! Did I get you? What did you get? No, I'm just saying. What is you that? want me to be mad at him? No. no. Oh, what? I thought I thought it was working you up sexually when we started. No, about no, 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 oh, no, no, no. Okay, I sorry. don't. Like, I mean, what I, is your type? I like. You know, I'll tell you. Here we go. Sorry, but I'm gonna go back to this. You're not gonna make me forget. I'm gonna dr grill, grill you. Okay. Please, I know every movie ever made. <laughs> no, you Sixth don't. Sense, Bruce Willis, Haley Joel Osment. Who directed? What, what's it about? Oh yeah, who directed? That's great. The who directed sense? it? Nolan yeah. Ryan. No. <laughs> Christopher Nolan. No. You're never gonna guess it. Have you heard of M Night Shyamalan? Yeah. What did he do? What else did he do than Sixth Sense? He's his movies are backwards. <laughs> like Memento. <laughs> no, it like starts at the end and then yeah. works his way back. No, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. Anyway, let's go. So we, you're what thinking, kind of like, you're thinking like? like Quentin Tarantino style. Yeah, he's a director. He is. Mm. He comes into the comedy store a lot. He used to. Tarantino okay. still goes. Oh, okay. Let's move on. Now, let's uh, let's uh, don't don't try to big 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 boob, big 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 boob gender, <laughs> big boob gender. That's what he was saying, and yeah. you were about to say something. I don't like big boobs. You don't like big boobs. I don't like big boobs either. Yeah, yeah I like sm like mid mid size to yep. smaller. You know I like what to mean? Like muffin handle. size. Yeah, yeah. I have small hands, so I like to I like to feel like well, I'm around them. Yeah, some of them are like volcanic craters. I don't like that. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, I don't like that. But anyway, let's go back to <gasps> what. <laughs> It's turning. You're, so, doing, you're doing your showcase again with your teeth. I'm smiling. <laughs> All right. Let's get back. Let's get back to some rhythms. Showcase there. with your teeth. Rhythms. <laughs> yes. Right. Let's go back to some rhythm. Of rhythms. So yeah. I meet I meet girls like you, you know, and they go, "Oh, we don't know anything." <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm always like, "Yeah." I just can't get behind it. I would hate myself too. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what well, you don't know anything. Well, I like Taylor Swift, you know, and I saw Barbie. Right, but I don't know anything before that. Yeah. Right, and you know, and if they're like in their twenties and thirties, I go, 
How do you, like... It's like they spawn into life at 25 and right, you start day one. You, you have no interest in other things? <laughs> so I'm going to ask you something. Please, both of you, let's please. ask. All right? I'm ready. And I, I want you to raise your hand. Be, this is a quiz show. All right, this is fun. You Great. guys want to yes. play this? Yeah. yeah. All right, so... Do you want quiz show music? Well, that's your show. We, we can do it in pause. Right, we'll do it. Yeah, put it in pause. So do the music. Welcome to Our, Bobby's Quiz Show, the only show with the hottest host on TV. It's Bobby Lee. <laughs> <laughs> so, raise your hand if you know. So, who, the quicker, all right? Yep. Name me three oh God. Scorsese movies. Both of you. Mars Attacks. No, uh, listen, listen, man. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. I'm being fucking real right now. I, I don't, no, no, I let don't. me just say something right now. Listen, man, all right? This quiz show is real. Okay. You know Mars. You know that Scorsese didn't fucking direct Mars Attack. Did you know that? Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> no. So th- did you know the answer? Yeah. It's a quiz just, show between you two. Why did you raise your hand? Because I wanted you to. No, have, no. You not have to, know if the you answer. know, you have to raise your hand. Oh, are I, you talking about really, raising your hand? You're playing against each other. But I, I wanted it to be funny. No, no. I didn't want to just know the answer. Oh. I, I, I want to laugh, but I don't want to showcase my teeth. Cars 2. No, no. Pretty good. <laughs> Fucking get it right, dude. You know it's not that. Give me a clue. Uh, uh, just drop uh, 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 okay, okay. uh, uh, a few. Okay, okay. I, I don't think you, you know. That's why you're reflecting <laughs> on me. All right. That's why you're putting it on me okay, because hold on, hold on. I'm your Google. I think we give them clues. All right, so no, no, no. What, okay, we, it's a quiz show we, between you two. You guys are part so of let's against start, me? All right, so let's start. Do the, dun, 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 the music again, right? It's Bobby's quiz show. So with here Bobby we go. Lee. All right, um, name me three Scorsese movies. Raise your hand if you know it. Where did he do this one? I know, but he didn't raise you. Do you know it, Michael? I don't think you know it. I think I think I do. Okay, go ahead. Three. Um, uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Recent, the last one. The last Very one. good. <laughs> Shutter Island. Very good. Thank you. Deep cut. Yeah. Don't um, stop. Hey, fuck. <laughs> hey, fuck. Wolf of Wall Street. Yes. That's good. Yeah. D- are you cheating? <clears throat> he, I, he I, knows. I'm going to say this right now, okay? In this show, all right? I'm trying to be super nice, all right? So um, if I see you guys mumbling shit again, dude, right? <laughs> I will <laughs> fucking leave. He told me. There's the no man cheating. in the flannel. I know. He told I, I'm me. I'm being real, dude, all right? Stop fucking around, Ed. <laughs> Let us go back to the program. I'm like Pat, do, Pat do, Sajak do, do, going crazy. It's Bobby Lee's quiz right, show. So with Bobby did, Lee. Did you, you didn't know any other ones. So you don't know his, the no, beginning. No, I, I, wouldn't, I didn't finish. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm just trying to think of his first movie. No, go in the beginning. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying yeah, to think of the yeah. first. Uh, if you give me a hint, I'll get it. The first word is Alice. Oh, still Alice. Alice in Chains. What? Still Alice. No. Mm. Alice doesn't live here anymore. The second one is Mean Streets. Mean Streets is what I want to yeah, yeah. think of, yeah. Taxi Driver. Yep. Um, Pacino. He's not in it. Taxi Driver, to be honest with you. Robert De Niro. De Niro is what it. you wanted. Yeah, yeah, but Pacino and De Niro are like spawn same people. Like, you ever seen the movie Heat? We talked about that. We did. Yeah, oh, with so Melissa good. McCarthy. <laughs> 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 All right, dude. That, that's her movie. Or right, let's, can we go There's back? one of them. There's two Let's Get back to the game show. Let's do it. All right. Name me. Four, no, I, name, me fi- I'm sorry. name me five Spielberg movies. Raise your hand if you e. know. E.T. Raise your hand if you know. I know one. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Michael. Jaws, E.T. Very e. good, E.T., yeah. A.I. Jaws 2. And Jurassic Park. There's one more. Go, oh, go. Uh, I mean. Let me give you a hint. Let me give you a hint, you know what I mean? Hold on. Or ba- baby sh- getting shot? No. Sh- uh, there's a, there's an uh, ocean no, and a baby's sh- getting shot. No, no this no. is Mars attack. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Sh- you know what I mean? Showers. Oh, crying. oh, Schindler's List. Yeah, there we go. That was your <laughs> that was your act out for Schindler's List. He got it. I did get it. That was the, the Schindler's List it. act out. Right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, this is fun. Let's keep going. You really, you do like this? I love this. He knows a lot of movies. I don't know yeah. what I mean. So, uh, uh, can I, I just can ask name you five TikTok trends. <laughs> Trevor, five jewel pod I, flavors. Can, can I ask you something? Please. How exciting is it, though? I, I would find it, Michael, exci- exciting, right, for you to go, go, oh, my God, there's all these great movies. I like A24 Mo- films. <sighs> Before A24, right, there's been great A23. movies. A23. That was before 820. 
Very fun. I'm just doing bits. Very you know good. What I mean? I'm good. Trying to very do good bit. Thank you. I feel like I'm taking over. You, and, you and, are. And, you and, are. And, and, you and, are and people, and you people are saying in the comment he takes over. Why don't you take over? Were they writing on a piece of paper? <laughs> <laughs> He's taking I, over. I, Where I do know. I send my mail? I don't know. God damn. Ladies and gents, let me tell you, Sugar Dude, when we started podcasts and online store was the furthest thing from our mind. Now, dude, we're selling cum rags, and it is so, so, so easy, all because we use Shopify. Cha-ching. Cha-ching, dude. Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business, from the launch or online stage to the First real life store stage, all the way to the, did we just hit a million order stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. Shopify is incredible, dude. Every single merch shop we have done, we have used Shopify, dude. It is so easy. Um, all the analytics are incredible. It really helps us out on the back end of stuff, really knowing what we need to order, what we need to reorder. Um, so it's really incredible. Um, and honestly, dude, Shopify has helped our business grow, grow, grow. So sign up for $1 per month trial, you heard me right, $1 per month trial at shopify.com slash socks, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash socks, lowercase. Now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in, shopify.com slash socks. Cha-ching. God damn. All right, I just, uh, this, right. Is what, this is what I want to get back to. I would love to hear, you said you lost Virginia at 23. I just want you to walk me through that. I, I, would, I would love to hear that story. Jennifer Field. Okay, so I was, um, Field? That's like, the last name. Like Mrs. Fields? Those like cookies cookie. are so good. Yeah, yeah, like Mrs. Fields. You lost your What's your favorite Mrs. cookie? Fields? You guys are insane. Yeah, this is how they show it. Uh, if you uh, let us take it over, this is how it is. All right. It's very ADD. Yeah, whatever you want. White um, chocolate macadamia nut. Famous Amos. The hard ones? What? Yeah, they're pretty all hard. All cookies are pretty hard. No. Yeah. You know what Famous Amos is? Uh-uh. Uh, it's a Spielberg movie. No. I'm crushing. <laughs> I know. I'm crushing. All right. <laughs> Go back to Jennifer Fields. Yeah, Fields. All right, so back in 1995, I um, started stand-up. And I, I, I had a job at the comedy store in La Jolla as a doorman. Mm -hmm. And we had a system there, which and they probably don't have it anymore, that if you door, like, so me and this guy named Stan Simmons were the doorman on Saturday nights. Good night. And e either one of them would, we, so either I would host or he would host the Saturday night. And then Friday night we'd have two different do other doormen. That way, when the headliners come from, from LA, you know, you get to work with them, right? But I was very good at like befriending them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so I did that with Paulie and Mencia back then. But mm -hmm. anyway, um, I don't know who I was open, but it was when Cr Princess Di died. Oh. Remember Princess Di? Yes, I do. She died. Yeah, she died. Diana? Princess Di died. Yeah, Diana. Mm. Died. Paparazzi. Yeah. So I remember that night, she, I was sat second show, Saturday night. I forget who the headliner was, but I was on stage. You know, I would host and then bring up the feature and the you know how it works, right? And while I was hosting, there was a beautiful girl in the front row. Jennifer. Jennifer. Oof. And she had tears in her eyes. Oh. So, you know, as a host, I go, why are you crying? That's right, good. she goes, very good, huh? That's mm -hmm. great because I think our generation would have been like, this bitch crying in the front row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no, no, no internet then. Yeah. So uh, she goes, oh, Princess Di died. And I was, you know, I liked her, you know? Yeah. And I was sorry. Right. And then at the end of the show, because I'm hosting, I, I wrap up the show, the lights turn on, right? So now I have to walk the audience out. I'm the back guy because there's no backstage at the yeah, moment, yeah. right? So I'm walking with, Jennifer Field was right here, and I put my hand just on her back. I didn't, wasn't creepy about it, and I just kind of tapped, and I go, well, I'm sorry that you're sad. And then, um, so then I'm, like, mopping at, like, one in the morning, right, like, vomit, and stuff. It was terrible, uh, right? Yeah. What? No, I just said, I like yeah, 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 and I was just mopping, and then Fred Burns, the manager, so he had um, cerebral palsy. You know what I mean? So he was, like, this, he was a drunk, too, Fred Burns. Yeah. And he was very crass. And he would go, he goes, Lee. I go, yeah. He goes, telephone call. Because back then we had no cell phones. Oh, shit. Imagine a world, no cell phones, no internet. There's no way to see this girl ever. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So she calls me from the La Jolla and she goes, hi, I was the one that was crying. You know what I mean? And I go, oh, did you lose something? Yeah. Like it didn't even dawn yeah, on yeah, me. Yeah. Right? And she goes, she goes, no, yeah, princess die. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, 
Good joke. Thanks, man. Michael, good joke. I like it. That was real good. And she goes, um, do you want to hang out? I go, with me? She goes, yeah. So then I got her number. And so, I, you know, I, I, I back then we had landlines. Yeah. So the next day I called her and she goes, come up to Oceanside. She's still with her mom in Oceanside. Threesome. No. Mm-hmm. So her mom was out of town. I just remember going over there and I remember, I don't know why, but we were in her mom's closet. Oh. Me and this girl, Jennifer. Yeah. And we were 69ing. In a closet? In a closet? It probably smelled old in there. No. <laughs> no? Fresh. Oceanside. Very fresh. Oceanside 69. in the closet. But did she not have a room? Did did Jennifer not have a room? I think they were redecorating it or something. Someone oh, was going on with it. So it's okay. like, I remember just being in her. Like, go ahead. So the day you lost your virginity, you 69 that's fucking awesome. Well, it's like the first time you had dinner, you had an appetizer. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, but like... It, one, go, that, one goes hand in hand. That's like going to your first restaurant and be like, I'll do veal. And like, who the fuck orders veal for the first oh, time oh, ever? Oh, 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 right. Like 69? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Ev- eventually, yeah, hell yeah. I'm all well, for I had, it. Well, I, at the time, I had never 69 Right. And you're just excited. I'd never done anything, right? Yeah. So, well, except the, in high school. Yeah, but like, I hadn't done anything. So I was just like, I couldn't believe it. Number one, I could not believe it. it I, I remember, you know, when you're 69, you're on the bottom. Yes. Which she told me about because I tried to do it on top. <laughs> oh, you were trying to be on top? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a sight that was. She went 69. I saw, all right, so get on your back. And I tried to, and she's like, no, it, the other way. Yeah, you're pr- playing. And I go, cool. why can't we do it this way? <laughs> this is how I read it. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so she's on top. So the ass is here. And I remember looking up at the ceiling. Yeah. And you can see her mom's clothes. No, yeah. I don't care. I had tears. I had tears. Yeah. Just excitement. I was so grateful. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, being in Yemen and not ever having a sandwich. Yeah. And some soldier went, here's a sandwich, turkey (laughs) sandwich, right? Yeah. And you're like, wee wee. Right? And you're eating, you're probably that emotional about it. Crying tears of mayo. Yeah, yeah. Like it was just the flavors. Beautiful. Broad daylight, daytime. Broad daylight. That's amazing. But I remember. So um, when did you when did you fornicate though? Did you do the sixty nine? That day. So you fornicate. Right so you did that. You did the sixty nine. What's fornicate? Fuck. Oh yeah, that day. Chris. No condom. Who needs those? Didn't know how to use it. I didn't know it either. I and had also, a girl, what? When I lost my virginity, I had a girl put it on because I had no idea what I was doing. But yeah. you play it off, be like, oh yeah. That's exactly. It's hotter when girls do it. That's literally. Do exactly. you guys use condoms all the time? Uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> do you use them all the time? Uh, when requested. Oh, when requested. Like, That's oh, where I'm you, at. Do you have one? Then I'll be like, yes, I do. But if not, oh, you so know. you always have one in like a nightstand, yeah. But if you if you met a girl, like I know you guys are in relationships. But if you met yeah. a girl in a, in a club, yes, and then like you didn't have one, and you were like at their house, mm-hmm. and then and then she's like, do you have one? What do you do then? Do you go to the store or do you just leave? I do a quick prayer and then I get in there. <laughs> yeah. No, but they request it. You can't. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's nothing funnier than like sprinting across the street to like an Arco to find condoms. Well, yeah, dude, that's yeah. not been in DC. I sprinted to a bodega and they only had magnums, and I was like, "Fuck it, let's run it." And it did not fit. That's, it wasn't it worked, even. Though. It, 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 I guess. What do you mean? My dick was too small for the magnum. I, I don't think your dick is small. I think your problem is your dick is skinny. It's not. It's actually. It's actually the opposite. Please don't do this. <laughs> Don't do this right now. Oh wait! I don't want to play this game with you, dude. What? What game? He claims playing? he's out here girthy. You guys are both skinny game. Come on, let's not do the thick game right now. I, I have I have thick game. You have thick game. Yeah, thick yeah. game. So yeah. we're we're like in terms of uh, rotundness, where are we at? Or like the red the Red Bull thickness? Well, I, I doubt it's like that. Don't say that. You have Red Bull thickness? No, 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 I don't. Oh God, no. What are you Red Bull thickness? Mm, probably like three nerds ropes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like together. Yeah, yeah. What's that? It's, I'm just looking at the bottom of the fiber. You drink energy. those? I do, yeah. They're so I, bad for you, man, no? I've asked, I've probably asked three different doctors because you drink them all the time and they all just say, no, it's just a bunch of B, B12. I drink them all the time. It's, I, it's too much. It's too many, for sure. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back to penis. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, I don't want to talk about it, actually. Let's not. Yeah, yeah. So what were we going? Oh, Jennifer Field. And then I had sex with her a bunch of times and then we lost touch, but um, I'll never forget it. Yeah. I will never forget it. First no. time is amazing. What was your first time? Mine was after homecoming. My date left me and her date left her. So it was like this like rejects ball. 
And I went to her place and uh, I remember I had to crawl through a window, I believe, because her front door had like a door open system. Uh, And then we made love with music choice on the TV behind us. And then afterwards, I asked her, I said, how was that? Uh, Because I didn't, she had had sex before. She was a veteran. I wasn't. And I didn't, she didn't know. But that's a good sign. Well, she had no opinion. She was like, oh, it was sex. Like it was a thing. I don't know. But I don't know if I did anything. How long did you last? Probably three to four minutes. It was, honest, it was honestly good. It was longer than I thought. You know, the, I remember the early days. It feels so good, remember? It, yeah. It feels crazy. Oh, my God. It was like Cinderella's <laughs> slipper. It's just like... you <laughs> the way you say that. The, when you just put it in, it's like... All right, what, all right, all right. What's even happening? I don't want this to be flagged on YouTube. No. no it won't. Right, right. Dude, it, it just felt... I mean, just the, the warmth was like a chicken bag from Costco. Yeah. <clears throat> what if you stick a little pink in your butt? The first time. I'm, oh, the very first time of my You virginity? ever did it, yeah, yeah. We've done it. Oh, I've done it. I'm a big advocate. Love it. You ever done it? I sort of know. No? Never do it. Never? Wait, wait. You've had a pinky in your butt. Oh, in, in, no. I like a round and a little pressure. And I don't go pinky. If I stuck index. a full pink, like let's say I put my middle finger right in your butt. I was a hot chick. Not in, mm. on. No, oh, no in. So, in, I'm out. so here, here's where I'm at. If she was really into it, then I, I would let it happen. If, if she got off by doing that, I'm in. And then she stuck it out, and then she stuck it in your mouth. My mouth? Yeah. If it was, she was super into it, I'd probably do it. I'm a big, like... Your own it, ass? Yeah. Dude, I've eaten my own semen and <laughs> fed it to a woman. I mean, like, I, you That's know... That's poo, though. Eh, you like the poo it? game? Excuse me? You like the poo game? No, but I would do it, but I would do it if she was super into it. Okay, so what if she's like, you know, I'm just going to take a big dump on your chest. Mm, that's probably where I draw the line. She's the hottest girl you've ever seen in your life. How much is she going to, does she want to do it just to tell her friends or is she doing it because she's super into it? I'm so into it. Yeah. And I have to take a shit. Do it. Wow. Do it. But I don't think you're that guy. No. I'd be, what do I I do? What do I look at when it's happening? You make an angel. In the shit? No, 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 no. no. (laughs) On your your bed? That's insane. (laughs) Yeah. That's insane, Michael. I don't think you would do that. Michael, I think you did that for comedy. You know what's so funny? In my head. Yeah. I'm not even in my house when you said that. I was in a hotel. Oh, I see. I hotel, see. Hotel, maybe. I'm also just, if I'm in a hotel, I'm happy she's pooping. Women don't poop on vacation, so I'm mm, just happy she's doing that. Yeah. Women be going to the lobby of hotels. I'm going to go get his coffee. She shouldn't. But thank you for getting coffee. God damn. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex even more. It's all we do. Do you want to bring the heat? Heat. Heat to the bedroom. Yes. Fuck, wrong episode. Next week, you'll get it. Yep. Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up, BlueChew.com. What is it? It's an online, unique service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. Bless you. But in a chewable <laughs> tablet and a fraction of the cost. You can take it any time, any time of the day, day or night. So you can plan ahead. Be ready whenever the opportunity arises. Let me tell you something, dude. Arises? So, that was a dick joke, and I love it. Okay? Yeah. And a lot of these listeners that are listening right now are like, hey, man, I don't really have a problem. Oh, yeah, what about round two? Okay, Round two is a massive underrated round that Blue Chew can help you. It's freaking incredible. You chew it, you do it, you get hard. And I'm going to tell you something right now, dude. My dick, me person, this is all my personal experience. My dick might get a little bigger, okay? So just saying that. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code SOCKS at the checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's it. Aiming for them, for UPS guys, dropping off that package so you can get your package. Let's go, dude. Pack in. That Penis. is Blue Chew. Hog. <laughs> that is BlueChew.com, promo code SOCKS. God damn. But if 56% of all marriages end in divorce, mm-hmm. are you going you gonna to ever get married? I think I I'm would gonna, like to. I think I'm going to gamble. Here's the thing. I think I'm going to get married knowing that it's not going to work. But for those seven <gasps> years, for those seven years, it's going to be great. Wow. Why not enjoy those seven years? Sign wow. a prenup and you're fine. Wow. Yeah. And are you? Oh, so sorry. Are you a prenup guy, or do you know? How do you bring it up? I don't know. That is scary. That's the I hard part. I don't know. I think you yeah. let's play let's play tic tac toe one night on a macaroni grill, you know, tablecloth, and then you go, oops, slipped a prenup in there. You do it? No, you do it in the beginning. Well, on date, date on date three. I think date. Oh. Three. Yeah. No. How? I, I think you just is- get it out of the way. I, I just I just want to let you know, right? And I really like, like, okay, I would say, yep. let's hear the girl, maybe you, oh, okay. I like big mouths with the teeth. And so, the no, fuck don't do am I, the waiter? I don't know. Well, I'll just say that you guys are one girl. I'd say, you know, I just nice. want you to know, like, I think just, I, I, I've never met somebody that I felt this comfortable with. Yeah. Answer back. 
I love Taylor Swift. TikTok's cool. Barbie. <laughs> Pink is oh, my no, favorite. No, it's, pick somebody else. Do, Do a different you know character. Andrew Santino? What? I love him. All right, pick somebody else, man. I, 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 where, where are the chicks? Where are the chicks? No, what, no, what, no. Fuck, I don't need another person. I'm just gonna say what I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so right, I'm right. Listen, I'm really getting along with you. I just feel so comfortable. I just, I don't. I just felt like I've known you forever. And then they'll go, Yeah, me too, right? And I'll go, Yeah, I just want to let you know also that you know I, I've also never met anybody where I thought, Oh, I could marry this girl. And she's like, Oh, I felt the same way. I go, I just also want to let you know that like I need a prenup. Oh, that's hard to say, huh? That's I know. A, yeah, it's, it's, it's it, it, it came up really. Hard. Yeah. You when that came out, it was like. You can't say prenup. You got to go. Yeah. I need a little pre pre nuppy nup. You got to like. <laughs> I don't know. You got really to sugarcoat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, well, you, you, could also, you could also sort of build her ego up a bit, but like, listen, I know that you are going to bring so much to this, and I want to bring so much to this, and we're a partnership now. But I want to make sure that all the hard work that you're going to do throughout this, you're going to leave with. Does that make sense? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Please so? tell me. No, no, I'm just I'm the girl. So okay. tell me what yep, do you mean? Yeah. Uh, basically what I was saying is like I work hard too, so I have my own money. Yeah, that's what I mean. You have your money. Correct. Right? And so when we leave, if we get a divorce, I take my money. Yes. And you keep your money. Correct. Right. Yeah. I want some of your money. But I know that you work so hard and honestly, I know you make more fully, money. You make to, a little bit more money. I want your money. To be fully transparent, I think that you are going to end up making more money than me because you're a strong woman and you're very talented. <laughs> and I think that I think to be fair to you, I think we should sign a prenup because I don't want to take any of your money wow, because you work so yeah, hard. Yeah. But I work at Jamba Juice. But I think you're going to own. <laughs> But you're, but, but you're an assistant manager. And you're I working think up I, to a Robex at this rate. Oh yeah. But I think you're. Assistant you think manager. so? Yeah, I think you're going to. And own you're a, a headliner. Yeah. And I work at Jamba Juice. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. I'm taking some of your money. But at this point, you're not going to know that information. Oh, as the girl. As the woman, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This feels like a date on Shark Tank. Oh, I, I, what, <laughs> all right, I just want to take these keys out. I'm, I'm now getting into this real quick. Hold on. Yeah. I'm going to get it. Okay, so. I, I, I don't no, want no, a no, prenup. No, oh, hey, what? I don't want a prenup. I just want to, I want to date a girl boss because what if I'm having an off year? What if? Yeah, yeah. Right. What if the and algorithm's against me? And, and then I go, happens. babe, you got me this year. And then she goes, I'm also fucking your friend Bobby. And I go, I love him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just want marriage to work. But but, but yeah. I don't know. Like my parents have been married for 35 years. And everyone's like, oh my God, congratulations. I was like, yeah, they fucking love each other. And then I see them interact for one second. My dad's always like, the soup's too fucking hot. There's too many sprinkles in my Rice Krispies. And I'm like, is this love? <laughs> yeah. So, the, you know, but I like, think that is, right? It is, I it think is. that is love. They're the cutest people ever they together. They are so sweet. But you just like, I think it's just age. I think the love stays the same. It's just the age. Mm. You start complaining about different shit. Right. My dad would be like, this water tastes like water. And I'm like, yeah, dad. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I think so. I, I, I was, just figured it out how you do it. What, me? No, the prenup. How? Sorry. You look at the girl and go, you know, I, I, I just think that, you know, I found my person. And, she, and I'll, I'll, I'll double down right now and say that, you know what I would do for you? I said, if we got married, I would probably sign a contract with you where you make, you'll get a half a million dollars if we ever get a divorce. Oh, you set out a flat rate. Well, you give a flat rate. Yeah. But it sounds a lot like a lot. Dude, I've been to your house. Nice. What do you mean? I like your house. You That's fine. I have a cool house. You know? Where was your house? Not specifically. Studio City. Studio City. It's got a nice view. I love a view. I'm a I have a nice a little view. view. I live oh, by myself. It's great. Um, How many bedrooms? Just three. That's perfect. That's so light. That's so perfect. Three, three bathrooms. Three beds, three bathrooms. How many pool. animals do you have? You have a lot. There's three cats. It's like That's a it. Noah's Ark. You have Wait, a pool? There was dogs. I'm pool, so yeah. jealous. Backyard. But there was dogs. Whose dogs were there? There were my dogs, but in the in because you were there when Kalila was and I were still living together. Yes. Yeah, so she took the dogs in the in the breakup. And that's hard, you know? It's hard. Yeah, I got to keep a cat in a breakup. And a, but you got cats, right? Three cats, yeah. I love cats. Do you like your cats? Did you not want to... Yeah, sorry. Did you not want to, like, take two dogs and two dogs? Or they just... You felt like they needed to stay I go on the road and they need to be together. Mm, okay. Yeah, you know, cats you, are great on the road. You're like, you're good, you're good. Peace. Yeah. I always have somebody come by... Yeah, same. ...every, every day and just kind of look to see if they're alive or not and <laughs> feed them and, you know what I mean? Just tap through the window. Yeah, yeah. Mittens! But, but I, I do... Uh, I love cats. I love all animals, to be honest with you. And I don't know what I would do without them. Do you, cuddle them, at, do you cuddle them at night? They're not allowed in the be um, bedroom at night because um, from I, 3 to 4 in the morning, 
fucking. My cats think that they're the Flash. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. All over the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit over. I can't. Do they all do that? Yeah. They have three zoomies o'clock hits. Three, they yeah. hit the zoomies. Yeah. All their adrenaline from sleeping 12 hours a day. Yeah. Right. I mean, think about how you are after your most well-rested sleep after yep. 10 hours. Oh, I'm on one. Yep. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. like, I'm, oh, me? I'm a pigeon now. And then they just run around the room. If yeah. I lock him out at night. And it's sad. I want him to sleep in the room. Also, they sleep in areas that I don't understand how it's comfortable. They sleep on top of your head. Yeah. It's like right here. Bitch, you're not a beanie. I spent $300 on a bed for each one of them. <laughs> They've never been in there. Dude, all you need is a Home Depot box, and your cat is like, what is yeah. this? The inside of a rolled yoga this mat. A penthouse. <laughs> really? Yeah, just... That's that it, it, like like it probably feels like the belly of a boa constrictor. Yeah, right. Yeah, and but yeah. she's like, I'm fine here. It seems warm though. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't names? understand. Fuck you, man. What'd you say? I just mm. asking what your cat's <laughs> names were. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, Gooner. Gooner. Yeah. Like gooning, like porn on the TV screen. You know what a gooner is? I do. Do you know what a gooner yeah. is? What is a gooner? A gooner was a bunch of screens, and you jerk off to nineteen. No, that's not what a gooner is. Okay, let's right. ask Reddit. Well, that is that is a, that's a type. A gooner, of gooner is an Arsenal fan. Arsenal, you like soccer? Yeah. Hell yeah! I only like Arsenal, and we're third in the lead right now. It's very close at the top of the Premier League. Um, I think Man City is going to take it again, but I hope not. But uh, Liverpool has a shot. But we're right underneath there. We're like a point away Dude, you're from you're saying buzzwords for me right now. What? Like if I were to pretend I knew what sports were, that's exactly what those sentences I'd say. Yeah. Man, Liverpool is coming up. Man, you. Man. Well, Man Ooh. City is I, number one right I now. Throw Beckham in there too. Throw Beckham in there, yeah. You, you don't know anything about soccer? No. Uh, uh, Ronaldo went to Miami. No, he didn't. Messi did. <laughs> Messi went to Miami. Yeah, this fucking guy, man. I, dude, I, I don't know you know be crazy, dude. Do I? We have nothing in common. I know. But you guys are such good friends, though. I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being real. Like everything he's saying is bothers me. I'm sorry. You don't care about anything. I need. I want to. No, I you wa- don't. I want a you, hobby. I want a passion. But you care so much about comedy. I, I, and you care so much about comedy. But this what I'm great. saying is, that how do you? Why wouldn't you like learn about culture to help with your comedy? That's a great idea. Yeah. I just need to know what is going to spark my interest. I just I, I just think that, like, if you want to be in front of show business and you want to be an actor, right, that you should know, if, at least seen six Scorsese movies, all of Tarantino's movie, Wes Anderson, Coen Brothers. Immerse yourself with, yeah. like, the greats. I saw Tiger King. It's a fucking documentary, you fucked hard. <laughs> I, I know, I want to be, and here's the thing, I watch a really good movie, and I go, I, holy I shit. Tiger King was five years ago. That made me feel something. When I watch a really good cinematically shot piece, I go, fuck yeah, it's, oh, it's beautiful, it's inspiring. What's your favorite movie of all time? That'd be, that'll you're not give gonna, me. You're not going to like this answer. Go ahead. But Dumb and Dumber. Uh, you know what? Fair. A lot of great actors in that. It's, Jeff Daniels. Yeah, I know. Jim Carrey, know. Harlan Williams. Yeah. The girl who flashed her yeah, tits, yeah, yeah. and they were How about tr- you, Michael? truck lights. Um, it's a tie. Uh, Ace Ventura or Blue Valentine? What's Blue Valentine? You, you don't know, know who Blue. You don't know what Blue Valentine is. I'm pissed. What is I mean, it? you need to culture yourself. You want to be an actor. What's Blue to Valentine? You, uh, Blue Valentine is the uh, Ryan Gosling, uh, Rachel or uh, Michelle Williams movie. It's like a really small indie. Let me ask you a question. I would love it. Would you rather be deaf, blind, okay, or your two legs missing? Wow. Uh, deaf. You'd rather be deaf. Yes. No music. I'm losing legs. Me too, dude. Yeah. Because also, you got the the metal legs on. <laughs> People might... What, what's funny about that? Are you yeah. laughing at my legs? No, you have wow. the kind of legs missing that's from up here. Do, Do I have the... There's no, there's no thigh. So you can't put the prosthetics on. You have that one... You know that black guy that's, that runs with his hands? Right, and he, he's sever- look him up. Yeah, he's severed from here down. Okay, you have that kind. Do I have a penis? Yeah. Oh, still yeah. same answer. <laughs> oh, yeah, so be- yeah, because then I can get a remote control wheelchair and those fucking I can I can get the electronic carts at uh, 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 Vons. All right, and people- you, you, you also upper body you can work on. It's like this guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this guy oh, right I know here. This guy. See this guy, oh, dude. He's jacked. Right. Yeah. Look, I'm at, him. look at him. I'm him. You get one of those. Jack, dude, that yeah, yeah, last photo is, <laughs> yeah, is insane. Are they? Th- they the just put him up there, dude. He's Jack. He's Jack. This guy. Yeah, he will fuck you up. This guy. Yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah. So let me ask you this: Does he have a? Does he? Does he, he already asked that. Question ever. Do, he has a penis or no? 
I didn't ask the guy. I don't think there's no way, right? Like, but he's. I guess what I'm just I'm interested in. How does he like the testosterone? How does he produce a testosterone to be that jacked? It's a good question. You know what I mean? Anywho. Okay. How about this? Oh, there's a funny one. Funny. Yeah. There's yeah, an yeah. even better one. Yep. You're deaf, blind, no legs, or no penis. <laughs> the no penis got to be the last. So you'd rather be deaf, blind, and no legs at the same time as no penis. Oh, that's the question. Yeah, yeah. I vey. Um. So you 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 have deafness, blindness, and no legs. Okay. Or just or, no penis. Or you just have no penis. I'm going no penis. No, you gotta go no penis. Yeah, There's I gotta no go way. penis. I gotta go penis. You're gonna go. Cause look what. Yeah, no penis. That was your <laughs> demo right there. <laughs> yeah. How yeah, was because... it? What were your first internal thoughts? Well, cause I'm like, I'm going no penis, buying a strap on, and I am, you know, I'm faking it. Oh, this feels so good. I don't know. I think you're right, maybe. You gotta go no penis. I know, but like... Uh, and then, girls will find you even hotter. What? Girls will find you even hotter. Like, oh my god, he, just, he walks... Exactly. Yeah. He walks around live like with no penis. Like, every guy should be like you. Like, he... I would say I cut it off for women. I said, I'm such a feminist, I cut my dick off. I don't want it. Mmm. Interesting. Where would you put it? Probably my left pocket. That's good. I'd wear it on like... I'd wear it in like a locket. Go ahead. Locket. Yeah. Dude, there's a guy I met in Fort Lauderdale. He had a bullet on a necklace. He got shot by a bullet. He was an EMT. He took it out and put it on a gold crusted necklace. And I was like, that is the coolest thing I've ever heard. But like, he, I, this guy was wait, so wait, nice. Wait, wait, he put a penis on his na- necklace? No, <laughs> bullet, bullet. Oh. <laughs> but I, I saw it and I, I go, like, this what? guy can't wait to tell that story every single time. It's somebody dumb. Goes, I don't like it. Hey, nice. Ne- oh, this whole thing? Yeah, no. Yeah, but dude, he got shot and then put it on a necklace. Pretty hard. Pretty but cool. like, yeah. I mean, the second I asked him what it was, he had like a, a monologue ready to go. Uh-huh. Probably gets puss off it. I think he does. God damn. This show is sponsored by our boys at Better Help. Dude, uh, let me tell you something, guys. A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. And therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of it. You're like, oh, man, I got so much time in the day. What do I got to do? I don't know. Talk to your therapist. Figure it out. Dude, therapy. I don't know how many times I have to say this. We are massive proponents of therapy on Stiff Socks, dude. It has helped both of us just understand ourselves in and out, dude. It gives us more self-awareness to just... You know, in the moment, a lot of emotions can arise, and it allows us to synthesize what's happening, gives us the skill set we need to understand what's actually happening in our si- inside of ourselves and just be more truthful and honestly, just be more happy. It's also entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. And if you don't match with them, you can get a new therapist. No, no, Super easy, no dude. ghosting, no bad feelings. No, and it's just a brief questionnaire to find your first therapist. So it's very, very easy. So and to make things even better, we're going to give you 10% off your first month. How you know? much? 10% off your first month. Come That's on, baby. Dude. These therapists out there in the real life, they're, they'll, they'll, they'll break the bank. Not today. BetterHelp. Learn how to make more time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash socks today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash socks. God damn. I think we should write a movie right now. Write a movie? Yeah, but in e- you go each, you give me a couple of things that happen and then we'll just go back down the line. Let's like try this. One word each? No, like three or four sentences of what the, it is. Okay. And then you kick it off. Okay. You do like four lines or five lines of what the movie's the premise is. Okay. Uh, and then you go and then you go, let's see if we can come up with a movie. Okay. Here. This alcoholic owns um, a roller derby. Wow. Mm-hmm. And then what happens? The roller blades are the only thing spinning out of control. <laughs> <laughs> He's a paraplegic. <laughs> Okay, yeah. good. He's a paraplegic. He's a paraplegic alcoholic yeah. who owns a very successful roller derby. He does. But his wife left him. His wife left him. 20 years ago. 20 years ago. And she opened up a roller derby in Connecticut. And so he got he got the roller derby. So he got the roller derby, he's, right? He's in, the in the divorce. Um, yeah. That's my turn now. Sorry, I'm a writer too. Sorry. Okay. He got the roller derby in the divorce, yes. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, he also, okay... Has his whole family now work at the World Roller Derby, but his whole family. What was that last sentence? What? <laughs> what was that last sentence? I'm I'm making sure that the, the screenwriters are writing this down. Oh, yeah. say it, say it again. Yeah, yeah. I said Roller Derby. Okay, so all right. What so, keeps happening in that word? Yeah, what, what's wrong with you right now? Roller we're we're in a writing. Roller you know derby. what I said. <laughs> you know what I said. You trying to shame me in front of everybody, everyone that you're, you 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 mean? It's fucking ridiculous. It's out of my. Right, I don't sorry, want to write with you. Sorry, I was on strike for a while. I'm yeah, rusty. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so anyway, he gets the roller derby. There we go. Okay, 
in the divorce. Mm -hmm. So he has his whole family work at the roller derby. Yes. But we could do a flashback, right? He was adopted and everyone in his family is like his his parents adopted people with genetic mutations. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. you know, he has one brother with his ha hands coming out of his head like this. Right. Okay. But you see a flashback of all these kids playing. Right. Another woman that looks like Harvey Dent. Yeah. Right. Right. So, but it's like the other it looks like repti like she has a skin disease yeah. where it looks like this, it's reptilian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like it's reptilian. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But you see them playing as a kid. Right. <laughs> There's another kid. Right. That has um, arms, legs, head, but no torso. It floats. <laughs> <laughs> they call him buoy. Yeah. Yeah. No, basically, it's like it just shrunk it down. So it's just like oh, oh, it looks oh. like, but it, it, and all yeah, his hearts you. and everything is you. condensed in a small little area. It looks like the Nickelodeon guy who was to hold his eyeballs. Right. Yeah. And there's a there's a one what name. Rook. They have a they the have a brother named Rook. Right. Yeah. He was raised by wolves. Oh. Right. Yeah. So he thinks his name is Rook. Right? Yeah. And so they're all together. That's a flashback in the 70s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cut yeah. to uh -huh. roller derby now, right? They're all working there, but they're now older. And now Rook is, woo! You're right? Oh, he's yeah, older. Yeah, he's older. He's older. Yeah, he's older. Yeah, he's older. Right, right. Yeah. And yeah. then, like, what's a roller derby? <laughs> uh, Rollerblading with rugby. No, no, I thought. Roller maybe derby. I'm fucked. Maybe I fucked this up. I thought like a like a roller skating rink. Did I mess That's it up? That's what I thought. That's roller derby is like where you're like competitive. Yeah, yeah. Just a roller skating rink. That's, That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a roller skating rink, right? Yeah, yeah, Just a regular roller, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so like um, the guy with the I'm sorry, who's woof? What? That's the main character? No. No, no, no. He's just a brother. Gotcha, gotcha. And he's hairy because he's a he was raised by wolves. Okay. And he's just oh he and he also he rollerblades on all fours. All fours. That's great. Right? So he's he's always in the rink. And then you know you have conversations like Rook is always out there. He doesn't do shit. Yeah. yeah. Right. And he's like Rook, Rook. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. you, you go. You go. You keep going now. Um. And then. Uh, <laughs> and then. Um. Yeah. So Rook keeps just rolling around yeah, and rolling yeah, around. Yeah. Uh, and then eventually Rook meets uh, this beautiful uh, uh, girl named. Meow. <laughs> Very good. And she's got a nice pussy. Yeah. Because yeah, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah, a nice meow. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and yeah, so they meet and they they slowly but surely fall in love, and it's it's kind of like um, it's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet thing, where like there's two like major families, one roller the roller derby one family and the roller derby two family. The divorced mom has a roller derby, and that's where meow was born and raised, and then so she comes over to the other roller derby. They fall in love with the, and then they sort of have like a Shakespeare Romeo and Juliet thing because there's two roller derbies against each other, and it creates so much fucking conflict, and all they want to do is just be in love, right. but they can't. Because the well, roller derby families are against each other. Yes. Just as a right, another front. Can I just ask you some questions? Oh, please. Uh, but I didn't. I don't think the focal point should be all about Rook, right? Okay. Right, because you, what are the other siblings <laughs> I mentioned? The 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 girl that split in half with the reptilian on the other side. Yeah. We haven't talked about him. We haven't talked about the torso, no torso. Right, yeah. right. Ha, right, right. So let's yeah, incorporate yeah. them. Th go ahead. Uh, of course. Um. So the the reptilian woman and the guy with the arms on his head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. They all get in a car because it's like right after prom, and they all get in a the car. They're having so much fun, and they die in a wreck because they're both hammered. They're and dead. then there's well, a drugstore. Okay. And there's a girl named June. Uh -oh. You know, you're making it into a joke, dude. And, and you know, here's the deal, dude. What you're doing right now, dude. We, me and Michael are in fantasy land and we're playing like kids. Were we not? We were both creating. Do we, were we not? Yep. We were like in the sandbox, right? Mm -hmm. Let's build this. Let's build that. And this fucking guy just comes in and just fucking Destroys the fucking. That was my bad. I was just trying to lighten the mood. Anyway, good there's premise a, of a, a movie. Giant, you're gonna end the, the movie on a DUI wreck scene. That's no. That's just that happened. That just happened. Yeah, but and then you you could have gone on with like what happened to Rook and the meow. You know. Well, Rook is. <laughs> <laughs> and no, no, meow no. has nine lives. Meow. Okay. On eight eighth life. Man, I would love to write a movie with you, dude. Me? Yeah. I think we I, would get we would get fucking would, nowhere, dude. No, no, no I, I think we would get yeah. fucking nowhere. I think I it would be good. I honestly think it would be good. If you guys wrote a movie, sat down and like actually did it, I think it'd be really good. I need you there though. Okay. Yeah. You're like the lifeguard. You're like, hey, 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 fucking get it together, pull okay. this in. You yeah. know, slap I'll, me in the face every once in yeah. a while. Great. So you think I went too crazy with the the history of the thing? No. I sort of, how are they gonna spell that name in the credits? Roof. I think a rough. Meow. Yeah. So just put bark. Okay. Yeah, I mean, in the script, you just put bark. Yeah. He doesn't have lines. He just, because he was raised by wolves, so uh, he doesn't, right? 
And I like the meow, but she was raised by cats. Yeah. But how that doesn't make any sense to me. Well, she was out in the forest and cats. No, she was raised in the Serengeti. Oh, fuck, dude. That's mind twister. Yeah. You're so good, dude. <laughs> Dude, you I know, wanna, can I be honest with you, dude? What? When I first came on this podcast year, years ago, when you and I didn't see, but I think I'm closer to you than him. There's not a lot going on. I don't know. I, I think that you and I have more in common. Okay. I think you are more, I are, and I are more creative in, in that way. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy you, dude. I enjoy you too. Yeah. What do I do now? <laughs> so now you come on a third time and then we bond again. I just, I, this is yeah. the last time I'm doing this podcast. Uh, what? Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Come this on, is the last Bobby. time. No, I'm just talking about this. This is the last time I do it. We yeah, have to do a yeah. trilogy. No, I, I'm telling you, I'm stressed. I got a lot going on in life. I'm, I'm exhausted. Well, you two, I love you. What are you talking about right now? I was kidding. No, but I, I, I creatively don't feel all there. I'm not excited in life anymore. What happened? Yeah, what, 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 what is going on, really? L listen, listen. I'm trying to win him back. Oh, 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 uh -uh. What do I do? I think you're both in this thing where you think that it's, things are going to go away. Yes, yes I have, 100%. I have and I'm going to say this to you right now. Yeah, it doesn't. And I, and I, and I, I you know, I, you have to understand when I was 29, 30, I booked my first TV show, Mad TV. Yeah. And then after that, I was on it for eight years, and it it felt like it went away after that. Like I I I, I get down like I, I did a sitcom called Animal Practice and I you know and some other things, I did a couple of movies but um it felt like you could tell as years went on, my agents and my managers would be like ah oh, there's nothing out there, and it felt like I was like but it came back yeah, and um now I think yeah it, I'll take a dip, it might dip down. I'll figure it out, but it never. It, once you, what's hardest is from open mic to where you are now. That's okay, the right. hardest That's one. The right. biggest, Most okay. people don't get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Most people don't get that. But once you do that, it's obviously you guys are super talented, and you're always going to work. How do you say positive in the dips? Just knowing that yeah. there is a brighter light at the end of the tunnel or like that's just how it is if you're gonna be here you're gonna be there you it's like i think about it the perfect way for me is like i had three shows that i fucking hated they just they weren't my shows they were just random showcase shows they kind of just sucked but then the next week was the vegas shows and that was i had my own show it was phenomenal so is that on the smallest scale what the career is you're like oh, i hated this i don't like this this is a bunch of bullshit but then you get those nights that are like this is incredible this is amazing i'm supposed to be here well, I think what you're doing is you're not truly – see, the only thing right now that really exists is Thursday. All right. Please elaborate. Well, today's Thursday, right? Yes. And so um, my, my A sponsor always says, what does that have to do with Thursday's business? Mm. When I project in the future, right? So I go, well, what if this – and what if this doesn't work? And he goes – it has nothing to do with Thursday's business. What are you doing? And I go, you're right. So what I try to do is right now, the only thing that exists is Thursday. That's great. And today I have a pitch meeting at four and then I have a spot at nine and that's all I'm concerned about. And then tomorrow's just Friday. Tomorrow I have to go on the road and tomorrow I have a pitch meeting in the morning, but I don't, if I start worrying about tomorrow, I'm not in today. So it's like, I think that's what, and also I want to say that during my shit times is when I met Kalila, right? And that was a huge joy, oh. you know, and that was like, that changed my life. And there would have been great moments in when it was down. If you, if I start thinking about my career and that's what makes me, then you're going to, you're destined for a life of sadness, yeah, I, I wrap so much around that in my head, which I got to get out of. Yeah, like, it, I, it, I let that dictate how I feel. It's, so, it means nothing. So It's so hard. It's so hard to like, even on a small level, like you post a clip and it does fine. It's so hard to not attach like your emotions to that. Like clip's doing good. I'm happy. Clip's doing bad. I'm sad. It's so hard not to do that. It's meaningless. Yeah. Because really what we are are just these living creatures on this planet that's spinning 
and you know we don't know what's going to happen this could be it why would i why do I want to I don't want to look back and go oh i was worried and nervous and bombed for the most time i was on that planet yeah. right i mean and, it's hilarious that th- and when you take a step out yeah yeah and when i look back at i remember um I did this Amy – Amy Poehler had this – she was producing a show and I had nothing at that time. And I was like, I have to kill this. So I memorized this like these lines, you know what I mean? And then I, I walked in and I forgot them, right? It just all vanished. And then I just kind of looked at the paper and I was so nervous. I couldn't even get through it, right? And when I was leaving, I remember taking a bottle of water. I smashed my face with a bottle of water and it ruined my whole week. I don't give a shit that that happened. Yeah, later on down I the mean, road. I mean, just why would I go through all that and worry about all that? It didn't. It's meaningless. Why did I waste all that energy? Yeah, all those worries end up just kind of leaving. Nothing later happens. On, so it matter. Yeah, you know, right? and it's also like I you I have to tell myself. I go if it ends, if my career ends, right? So be it. I, I I have to figure out something else that's going to make me happy. Yeah. Right? And whether it be dive back into AA or help other people or figure out, you know, right now I could, you know, I, I, I think I have some savings and this and that, but I don't even think about that because it's like, it's bullshit worrying about the nothing. what ifs. Yeah. What ifs. So it's like, you guys are in, you guys are on top now. It's only growing and that's it. Yeah, yeah, I think very uh, – my career relies on one piece of – like if I post a video and that video flops, I yeah. go, my career is a flop. But if that video hits, I go, my career is a hit. It's insane. It's crazy. Yeah, it's so crazy. And I don't know who to talk to about it. I talked to a therapist about it, and he's like, yeah, yeah, you know, as a – I love my therapist, but he – is a specialty entertainment guy. Yeah. He, can, he goes, yeah, I, I get what you're going through. When I used to sing in the opera, I go, okay. Yeah, no. No, no, you need a different therapist. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like that. That's I don't like that. Insane. When I used to sing in the opera, you know, I, I've, once my therapist said I'm, I'm out. He's a great guy, but um, I just, I don't know who to talk to to disassociate any of this, like what views or followers mean to like yeah. just being stable and happy. It's like, I, it's also like, I know, I think we both know all of that, like instinctually, like all the, this, this, this moment doesn't matter, but it's so hard to, to like feel those proper feelings in the moment. Like when you have, when you take a step back and it's that the clip doesn't do well on Tuesday and it's Friday, you're like, okay, yes, it doesn't matter. But in the moment, it's so hard to apply like a clean, clear logic to that. And that's, I think, the for me, like, that's the work. It's like when it's actually happening, mm. it's like, when all right, you talk me, it out, it makes sense. Yeah. Like, let me zoom out. What's, what, what is, what's, what's the, what's the healthy way? What's the healthy perspective to apply here? Yeah. That's the hard like, yeah, thing Yeah, it's, it's really not that difficult. I'll tell you why. Please. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I, was, I ran into this veteran actor. He's like a legend. Not a, a lot of people know who he is, but he's been in a lot of great things. And I asked him, how are you? He goes, I have cancer. And he goes, I'm so bummed. Right? And we talked about it, you know, and he's like, I don't know if the treatment's working, yada, 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 you know what I mean? And, um... I'm scared, and I it, and I, I'm always like, okay. My life is great. Yeah, I mean that's it. Yeah, it literally can change in the spur of a moment. You think your career could change? Everything can change. Um, people die. It's life. You know, right now in this moment, you guys are young kids. I know you've been. I know you guys have been around for a while. But I'm 52. I've been around longer, right? So yeah. I understand. I still view you guys as up and coming guys that are about to. Who knows what's going to happen? That's 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 the, the reality, right? It can change at any moment, yeah. tomorrow, whatever. But right now, it has nothing to do with Thursday. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not that you know. And do what you're going to do. I, you're going to do what you're going to do, dude. Yeah. You're going to feel and worry and do all that stuff, but it's like. I'm telling you, man, it's it's nothing. I also feel like time flies by. You've been in, inter- in entertainment for what thirty years? I it, don't say it like that, but yeah, uh, uh, fifteen times two years. Yeah. Does it just like like all Dude, that? Like you pick your head up, you're like, oh, I was on Mad TV yesterday. It's also interesting that I still feel like I'm struggling. Like 
I'm still Didn't, I haven't yeah, made it. Never yet. goes away. No. Oh, God, well, that's, that's Jesus oh, Christ. Fuck. But that means you're still working. You're still like. I, I feel like if you woke up one day and you're like, I have it all. You'd be in a psych ward somewhere. One time I was on a sitcom. I was on a sitcom with um, um, somebody. I'm going to say their name. Yeah. And I remember she was the lead of the sitcom I was on. And I remember one day she was sitting there at the cast chairs and she's reading two or three other scripts that were TV shows and stuff. And I go, you're on a TV show. And she's like, yeah, but I got to compete. Holy shit. Right? Wow. So just in case God, this ends, dude. right? I can do this. Maybe blur out her name because, you know what I mean? Blur out her name. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah. We'll anyway. Blur it in the subtitles. But no, we'll still yeah, keep yeah, the yeah, audio yeah. in. Just put that name out. But, and I went, I went. That's crazy. I went, oh. When I, when I see that, I'm like, oh, that's insane. Isn't everybody in this town like that, though? Like, that's what I'm saying. I, everybody's yeah. a little. We have, but we have to find we have. a we have to find a place where that we're not like that no, because God, no. it's like it ends. Who has it figured out? Who's like, oh, they have a healthy work balance and they're successful? I, I can tell you who. You think? Please? Who? Rain Wilson. Really? I feel like I see him on more podcasts than anything. Hmm? I feel like I see him working and doing more podcasts than anything. Yeah, but when I talk to him, he's very grounded. He does seem like that and cent centered. Um, I have many friends that are way. I have a friend that like. Now, granted, you know, money helps. Yes. Money helps, okay? Yes. But um, I've run into a lot of guys that are like, yeah, you know what? I tried it. It's a meaningless. And I'm you know, like, like, when I get a, like. Tread you, what? What? Tread what? Tread what? You said, I tried it. It's meaningless. Tried relaxing? Tried doing too much? No, I, you know, I tried to have show business fix me, you know what I mean? And all that uh, stuff. Uh, and uh, think uh. that it was going to fulfill. Yeah. You know, because there's still a hole in your soul. Yeah. Right? It's crazy. And so, um, you know, I, I know guys that are just like, I'm done. And I'm going to just do something else. Yeah. After even having a six, you know, and I wish I could be like that. I'm wondering, what, what stand-ups do you know that are like pretty grounded and just like. <clears throat> That's a hard one. Because I feel like acting is a little different. Cause I think like, Al Madrigal is pretty grounded. Yeah, he seems. Al raised a family. Yeah. Um, beautiful wife. He's. Like I, I've been a dear friend f with him for many, many years. I think family really helps. He's loyal. Um, he's a good dude, man. Um, I think Bill Burr is like that. I, I mean, I know he's crotch grouchy, seems like, but I think that you know he's got f kids and a family, and he. Um, I mean, he's the goat. You know, he's one of the best. Yeah. But, but I know guys that are like, I'll, I'll give you another example. So this guy named. We were, uh, when I come, came up, I came up with a guy named Dave Pierre. So Dave Pierre was, um, we were both, we were like now just getting to becoming regulars at clubs. And Dave Pierre probably booked, he was like 70 pounds, but he was like 5'8". Like he was a skinny guy. Mm. And all his jokes on stage were about being skinny. So he wore like these cut off shirts mm. to show his super skinny arms. You know what I mean? And every joke was about him being, he would crush. This guy was a crusher, yeah. right? And then he would book every commercial imaginable, every national commercial. And then one day he was just like, I'm done. Really? And I go, why? He's like, I'm not happy. And he goes, I want to teach kids. So he became a teacher. Ugh. Got married. Probably has kids. I haven't talked to him in like 25 years. I wonder where he is. I'm sure it's my friend Jonathan Gotzik, crusher, interesting, weird. They just get out. And they're just like, ah, I, because... You have to suffer, and we're not there right now. But remember those days? Yes. Pure suffer of just I'm years of like the steering wheel. I have no money. Oh I'm doing open mics every night. Nothing's happening. I don't know how the fuck. Why would you want to live? I don't know why. You know what I mean? It's like, and I don't want to feel like that now. Yeah. I love the art form. That's the only thing. It's just I just depend so much on the outcome of it. To you're at the top of your game. Shut the fuck up. Oh, no, I, I... You both shut the fuck up. You're at the top of your game. You guys are killing it. And so, so things are great. Yeah. But yeah. there's just moments where it's just so... There's, so it's Nearsighted? Small yeah. Side, what, yeah. what am I trying to say? Nearsighted works, yeah. Nearsighted, where you're only seeing, this is my career, and you're not looking at the fact of, like, the success of this podcast, the success of a special, this, all the, whatever I've built, it's like you're just focusing on one small thing. Yeah. And it's hard not to get out of that. I, I Honestly, I wish I just had a big brother that lived with me who could just slap me on the back of the head and be like, things are good. 
I would pay you call to do me. That. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you. Call me. You know, it's like when um, you know who Neil Peart is. I know him. He's the drummer for Rush. He, yes. he passed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greatest drummer of all time. I think at one point his wife and his kid died in a fire, or something like that. His wife died, or something. Whew. And he um, and he's a legendary drummer for the band Rush. And he just got on his motorcycle and just it left town for three years. He just went on his motorcycle, told the rest of the bandmates, like, I'm, I don't know when I'll be out. back. And he went through an exploration of his soul, you know? I think I'm ready for that. Yeah. McConaughey sound, did that too. That so nice. Yeah. I want to go to a place. I was telling Rain Wilson the other day, I go, let's do a thing where we, we don't bring our cell phones. There's no television. There's no scrolling. There's nothing. Internet. It's birds. And, no, and we go to a cave or a log cabin or something, and we just first spend weeks being with friends. That'd be awesome. That right? so nice. We're never going to do it. No, we won't. <laughs> we won't. But we won't. But, but it how sounds great, so nice. How sounds great so does nice. that sound? Well, the problem is you got to use Airbnb. You got to use your phone to check in. You're using your phone to get on the Wi-Fi. I mean, like, no, the, no, no, the we, idea no, of that sounds amazing. No, right? I have a friend that's like a – he's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, my friend. And I, we asked him, can you, fl- you know, help us? Because he, you know, he, he kind of wants to do it too. And so, you know, you know, you know obviously you have to set it up. You know what I mean? Where, but we can do it. I want to do it though. That'd be awesome. You know, the problem is checking your phone. Like even now, like let me look at my phone now. Every time I pee. I Every my time. Phone. Like I have four messages, right? Dude, I get bored driving. Oh, me, oh, I'm all the time. I'm TikTok by this again? The 101? Fuck this. <laughs> See, we lost him. He's over here just <laughs> DMing hot chicks. I, I, I would love to do that. I would love to just go no do, phone. I want to do a silent meditation, like retreat. The, I, you have to start like no, a I week. Talk. That's too. That's too long. But I love to do like a three day silent meditation. And I know like there's gonna be so many points where it's not. I'm gonna be like a little insane. But I think once once you get into it, I think it'll be so fucking nice, man. Just no phone, no talking, just you. And like you battling you. Well, do a darkness Sounds retreat. So nice. Do a what darkness retreat. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, you don't know what that is? No, sir. Basically, they put you, everyone, they put blindfolds on you and they put you in a cave. It's like well done. You know what I mean? It's so, like a Mr. Beast video. Yeah, and they put money, they put food <laughs> through the little thing. This is jail. You're in complete, yeah. You can look it on TikTok. Yeah. And people, like for some people do it for three days, some people do it for like six or seven days. There's a bathroom, bed. Food, you're fine, right? But you're just in the dark. What? Just a black screen. That's literally what it is. Yeah. Do you have it or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And basically, so people take off these blindfolds after five days or whatever, and they have a cosmic experience. So he's just watching for four days? Yeah. I imagine you're oh, more dude, thankful that's for so life cool. and just yeah. how beautiful things around you are. But it's also in the darkness, you find, you see stuff within yourself. Well, I imagine your creativity is much stronger. You also work through things. So much. In the beginning, it's probably scary. Oh, it's so, yeah. Right? Have you ever done an ayahuasca retreat? I can't do it because I'm in 12-step groups yep. and I can't right, do it, right. but I would Good. love to. But I'm thinking about doing that maybe. Dude, let me that know. Looks I know this, 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 the second half of this, and we went from like that movie, what we're all to be to, <laughs> like, to like Namaste. But I think it's good that we talk but about we real things. We started Namaste, and now we're feeling Namaste. We're been feeling Namaste again. And you still like me, right? I love you guys. Good. Deeply. That's Way great. Enough. We have two questions, and we get out go, of here. Let's say yeah. two questions. Go yeah. ahead. Cool. We have uh, AI generated pictures of uh, what it would look like for Bobby and Trevor as one person. You guys want Please, to see that? I'd love to, to see that. that. I would love to see that because um, we right, started but, talking about, uh, you know, my face and yeah. So we know. had the the AI do a bunch of these. So, Hot. Uh, that looks like your producer. What's his name again? Tiger Belly. Gilbert. Yeah, doesn't it? No. Kinda. That guy's handsome. That guy. That guy's really, really. <laughs> Gilbert's hot. a good-looking dude. Yeah, yeah. That. Uh, that's us. Yep. This that is, can uh, see. I can see. That us. looks more like. Dude, that's us. Dude, I can see the guy. <laughs> I, can see us, the, I can see the guy us, in the belly room at like four a.m. Yeah, 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 yelling yeah. about yeah. flight patterns. And no, birds. he's definitely. He has. He's a producer. Like a. He does comedy producing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that it? This is it. No, we got some more. This Whoa. Is- Whoa. No, that's all. Awesome. I don't like it. I don't like yeah. it. <laughs> uh, I can kind of see that guy works at a French bistro. That, that guy's two hands. When they when that guy is like the Henry Cavill of. 
Asian That's dude. a good looking dude. That's a really good looking dude. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's too good looking. I think the he, second one was perfect, I thought. I the second one, yeah. What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah, I can that see. That looks I, pretty good, too. I think we have a son like that. Yeah, yeah. No. We have a son like that, yeah. It looks like he's going to sell you tickets to a hot dog show. Are that too white? Why does it look like me? Yeah, it looks more like Michael than anybody. That, that's like Timothy Chalamet if he did a Bronny commercial. Yeah, <laughs> that's incredible. That's a good looking dude right there. Yeah, that, I like really that guy. That's us two or Michael in the mix? Uh, no, no, I don't think just, I'm in there. Just you two. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah the. Yeah. Uh, yeah, realistically, we'd probably have to give it a. Uh, this was just one image of both of you. We'd probably yeah. need to do 20 a bunch. Minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's 20 really to find it. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, that's that. We have questions. Let's do it. Um, let's. Uh, Stick with, let's keep it with the would you rather theme. Um, we had a question sent in by Chase for you guys and said, uh, would you rather have to fight an orangutan with a kitchen knife once a year or fight a chicken every time you get in your car? Orangutan. How would you fight it? Like, how would you need you a fucking chicken, a chicken, 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 chicken. But yeah, but then with, with the mess of the chicken in the car every time. But it, but I think the orangutan, you're gonna die. You could die. Like orangutans are They're so strong. strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? They they'll go with tools. But you have a whole year to prep for it. But really, once a year, you're, you're, you're thinking night? about the orangutan fight like two months before it happens. And then you're not thinking about Thursday. Guys, we're bringing yeah, it yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring yeah. It back. yeah no, because no. because then I would be like, oh, I have a kitchen knife. I also have a 12 gauge. Well, chickens just go, ah. dude, that I thing mean, with massive. a knife. That would kill you. <laughs> no, we boys. But chickens. <laughs> you have orange hair. I had orange hair. But every time you get in the car, you go, bah, 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 bah. And, and chickens are like ferocious. Are they? Yeah. I, I don't know. No, no, this is a beautiful orangutan, though. So, why is it called being chicken when you're scared to do something? Oh, are you know, doing wordplay right are now? Are you back to hating me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't but do wordplay right imagine now. Imagine you're running late for a spot and there's the chicken in your car. Bah, 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 bah. Is it in your car or just like you have to shoosh it away to get into your car? No, it's or, in your car. Oh, in the in car? The, yeah. There's feathers, Gigi saying that shit? Oh, or in the car. In the car. What, it's you crazy. you just hanging out up front? I thought you had to like shoosh it away no, to get in, in your car. car. That's cr So you have to take it out of your car every, every time. day? Every day. Just open the door. All right. But then there's <laughs> chicken shit everywhere. Like it would smell like a chicken. Anyway, the next question. Yeah, uh, this one's actually not a question. This is just an anonymous submission. Um, someone wanted to confess this and didn't want to put their name on it. So um, this says, Secret Sock, I met a guy on an app for people looking to have sex with women in relationships. When we were getting to know each other sexually over text, he said he had just fucked a couple last night and that they were freaky. He then proceeded to tell me that they're so freaky that their adult daughter joined them in a threesome. Yo. Yuck. Uh, he has no idea if she's their bio daughter or adopted. Needless to say, his dick is getting nowhere near me. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. No. Wow. Yeah. No, no. This is a very strong Arkansas. I mean, we need a here. step in there so bad. S yeah, that, 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 there, was, there was too close to the family tree there. Family tree fucking. I mean, that is, I that is, <laughs> that is defense. Like, I got lost. I got I don't even do like a third. Lost. Do you do a third party in, in situations or no? I would had. definitely. Oh, have I? No, like, like, let's say well, one day I call you. I go, yeah. hey, let me join with you and your girl. Well, you had to walk me through specifically. What would you want to do? <laughs> if you want, if, if realistically, if you want to sit in like the corner, no. and like, oh, you want to be in, I'd be out. But if you want to sit in the corner, why can't and I, I be can, in? And I can tell you why can't what I be to in, do. Though? She might because, like it too much. Yeah, she, you, might fuck, you, you might fuck. You might fuck. You might fuck. Do you love me? I do love you. You might fuck her too good though, and then she'll leave me. No, no, no. How about you? Would I let you join? Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. While you were there with me? Yeah. Interesting. Fun times. Uh, great. I love you, dude. I mean, what a fun you, no, thing you're to out. do. I'm out. Oh! <laughs> yeah, because we're I, back, I'm, in, baby. I'm in the corner. Yeah, but, but you didn't, yeah, 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 you didn't yeah, yeah, walk you through it. Uh, I, I'm a good guy. You are a good guy. I don't do nothing wrong. <laughs> Hold on. Something's happening right <laughs> now. Something's happening to your voice right now. <laughs> I do nothing wrong. I'm good, I, a good guy. What do you think women say after they have sex with you? Like, what, what, is what do they say? Like, what, what's their performance rate? Phew. Oh, they always do that. Like after, <laughs> a, like after a basketball game, they're no. sweating and like, oh my no, god. No, uh, what do you mean? Like, are they like, oh my god, wow, I came out of nowhere? Because, well, for me, it's like I don't, I don't come. I remember. So you're like about a you. woman. I, I just have a difficult time really com funny. coming in general. So it's like I um, also when I feel like I'm about to come, I stop. Why? <laughs> Do you come when you're alone? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, why not? Oh, I don't know. I don't but know why if you had a coming problem in general. You just stop and you're like, I stop. Show's over. 
God, is it uh, too uh, sentimental? No, I. Uh, is your come to value? No, no. I mean, I don't know if I should say this, but. Uh oh. I don't want to say it. Okay, you don't have you to. You don't have to. I just don't come. Okay. But do you I think I can make say, you come? No. Okay. I will say that the day you do with a lady, that's going to be your Arthur sword pulling out of the stone. It's going to be like the Cinderella shoe. It's going to fit. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, the Richter scale is going to be going off. The ground is going to shake. Bobby I think you're going to. I think you're going to come a baby. Like I don't even think she's going to get pregnant. <laughs> I think it should be a full baby. A a come baby. Like a, like yeah. come and a baby's going to come out. Oh, oh. Wah, wah. Yeah. If you've been saving up. No, I'm saving up because, I, I, like I said, I masturbate and come. But my uh, How's here's New the York thing. on your semen, pretty strong. Oh no, it dribbles. But okay. and that's rude. That's what a rude question. Oh, I was just asking. I'm an old guy, and that you know. That's I wasn't the case. even involved in that. That, that was rude. But my point is this, okay? Is I um, I don't. I'll tell you. So I don't. I, I can get hard. Yeah. I stay hard. I've seen it. And the reason why I I don't like coming is every time I come, no matter who it's with or by myself, I feel so empty inside. Mm. That is. And I, I don't want to feel you. that emptiness. I hate that feeling. Post not regret. Yeah, that's not never, regret. It's like uh, just a feeling of like. Oh yeah, coming is the best and the worst of time ever. Yeah, it's like a sadness. Like, oh, oh fuck yeah! So oh fuck sad. no! It pours over me. Yeah. So if you never nut, you never have that post nut sadness. I mean, this, yeah. It's kind this of is, this smart. Is genius. Yeah. It's kind of genius. So what I did the other night, maybe a couple weeks ago, I, I you know I was with a girl and I um, yeah, come on now. and you know I made her come and yeah, then I like, oh. and then halfway and after she came. She was like, um, or, you know, because she came first. She's like, just give me a second and then I'll, make, I'll get you to come. I go, no, we don't need to. She goes, really? I go, yeah, just hold me. So we were both naked and she kind of, I just held her. And I wanted to be there. That's great. And I, we stayed, with, for 30 minutes we were naked, right? That's beautiful. Liking, I'm liking embracing more and more. I used to be no cuddle, please don't touch me. Yeah. But I, I like it found more love. and more. I, I That's not I what love. we're at. I mean, what? Yeah. <laughs> what part of it was what? Uh, that's not what I was saying. You're saying you like cuddling more and more. Yeah, you're saying you you were embracing. I know, but right? I, that's because I because I had not come is the reason why I wanted to hold her. Oh, I didn't know that. But okay. if I come, I'm not going to want to hold her. I understand. I need distance. You need to go to like a red roof inn and yeah, hide yeah. from society. Yeah, yeah. Off yeah. Yourself. yeah, yeah. And so I don't come so that I could just I want to be with them. It's a weird thing. No, I hear you. It's you're, actually it's actually a really sweet thing. To be but honest. I think one yeah. day you will come, and you're gonna see that same girl, and you're gonna your feelings aren't gonna change at all, and you're gonna go, oh, "You're the one." Um, that's never happened before. Really? I, but but I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. When I release myself, there have been many many thousands of times where I've held them, and I you know, I'm a nice guy, right? Yeah. But there's just something that goes on within me. That there's like a, a sadness is what I'm saying. Yeah. And so I just don't like yeah. that feeling. That's yeah. all I'm saying. And that's totally fine. If you were in a loving relationship, do you think that – does that feeling still <clears throat> protrude? No. It it does – yeah, even does in a loving – even okay. in loving – so, um, yeah. I mean, I've – not that I hate them. I mean, I don't – no, I love them still and I, right. I still want to be there. It's just my own – I'm, you know, I'm mindful about my own – feeling in that and it takes yeah, me like I gotta go straight to sleep after yeah an hour it takes me about an hour to get back to oh wow feeling you know yeah, what I mean yeah. like I'm happy again you know what yeah, I mean that's why hotel rooms suck it's 3pm you nut you look outside and you're like this is life yeah. I know you go, I'm gonna, Charlotte I'm North gonna, Carolina I know. this is it <laughs> yeah. I know yeah it it come feels, straight to sleep great sleep yeah yeah, yeah. coming is sad <laughs> yeah. it, is. Yeah. it is coming is sad ladies and gentlemen Bobby Lee everybody Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Lee. Lee coming is sad Thank you for doing the podcast. Dude, you thank love us you. both. That's all we really wanted was to just win your redemption back. Yeah. This I just, was a I just love wanted arc. your love. You know, you and Michael, episode one had a little bit of beef, but now it's more loving than ever. I think now you and I have beef. <laughs> oh, what's up, dude? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee. Listen Guys, thank you so much. Listen to Bad Friends. Go see him on tour.